just very quickly introduce the next speaker, um, which is Monica Conrad. And I would uh, like to ask her to be prepared very well. Um, just uh, some a few words. Monica Conrad is an architect, urban planner, researcher, and strategist. Um, she worked um, in studios like OMA, or Klaus and Kahn Architects, and um, she graduated from Faculty of Architecture in the Poznan University of Technology, and she also studied in uh, Lund University and uh, at um, uh, Erasmus University in uh, Rotterdam. Um, she, of course, published numerous um, publications um, uh, and uh, is involved in projects uh, in Europe, Asia, and Africa. And uh, most possible, uh, important also for our um, conference and um, also concerning uh, the background of the lecture, she is a deputy director of the Municipal Office of Architecture and Special Spatial Planning in Warsaw. That uh, will be um, what we look forward to here now, and I give you the floor, and uh, please um, do not uh, take the example of Ruta. And oh, that's, that's perfect. You brought your own timer. Wow. Yes, thank you. Uh, so I, I hope that technical support could uh, as well see me. We, we make the agreement that next slide is this kind of uh, gesture. So we maybe uh, will gain some time. So, uh, well, thank you for uh, your lecture. Actually, I would like to talk about quality of life uh, in the areas uh, that uh, are actually the urban fabric from post-modern uh, uh, yeah, post-war era. Uh, so uh, I think I will repeat. So I will try to add what is different in Poland uh, than in another housing estate in other country. This is working perfectly. Uh, so I will start uh, with a vision of Warsaw that uh, we developed uh, recently to know the direction. So we're supposed to discuss about the direction, what next. Uh, so we not uh, see the city as um, uh, only separate neighborhoods. A uh, city has to work as a whole. Uh, so the main sort of slogan we got is resilient urban ecosystem, that's what we want to create. And for that, uh, we like to create many ways of living, so taking care of different uh, uh, settlements. Warsaw has very polycentric structure, uh, so the efficiency of public transport and different infrastructure will be here very important. We have green city already. However, not all the links are developed. So, of course, talking about heritage, uh, the urban fabric of Warsaw was created uh, towards, yeah, centuries. Uh, some of that was destroyed. Uh, then we have a lot of housing stock uh, from uh, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, that is almost more than 40% uh, of inhabitants are living in this stock. So that's uh, the same area that we are discussing class uh, two days. So what you, you could see here, just one word, is uh, we kind of adapted uh, uh, towards a strong urban renaissance uh, publication. We added to it like uh, two features, is uh, access to uh, blue and green infrastructure and access to mobility, just next to the access of basic services. And that is very important to, to form the resilient urban ecosystem. Next. Um, so what I was already telling, uh, here you could see a sort of mosaic of uh, different morphological types that uh, Warsaw was formed from. And uh, the one in the frame, it's what we are talking now about, large-scale modern residential projects occupying uh, more than 5% of the city. 
but more than 40% of residents are occupied this, uh, this area. Then we have uh, some housing stock that is from 50s that we classified as moderately intensive urban development, but uh, that's this uh, particular uh, settlements will be like less than 1% uh, of it. Next slide, please. So I will start with this one because I was going a little bit chronologically. So those neighborhoods form ba uh, mostly in 50s. They already have very good quality. So uh, because they are located in the city center or in these parts of the city that very well communicated by public transport, the proximity to different services is already very good. They are mostly uh, having enough of greenery because they were designed in very structural way. So the quality of life there is pretty good. So the, the plan for the future is basically preservation of it. Next one. Uh, so you could see a, a settlement in the city center. This is MDM, Marshalkovska Residential District. Uh, so at the moment, what has to be done is mostly to taking care of the public space uh, in those areas. The quality of housing is already very good. Next one, I'm just giving some example. This is on the other side of the river, uh, Praga 2 residential district, as well with enormous potential if we're talking about uh, mitigation and adaptation to, uh, to climate changes, already very green uh, neighborhood. You could see uh, there on the picture uh, uh, some kind of public space uh, project that was uh, uh, developed uh, with uh, inhabitants. So those sort of projects uh, with community are already happening in Warsaw. Next one, uh, this, uh, here we see uh, the same type of uh, housing that is placed <coughs> in different parts of the city. So it is some... Uh, important part of the Warsaw city fabric. Next one. And now we are moving to large scale modernist uh, development. So uh, those ones, uh, uh, we have several types. Here is uh, just division to two that taking in consideration uh, some characteristics. Uh, so density and, uh, and height. Uh, Whatever we already discussed, we do not have a very different problem than other cities. The big plus is the large green areas. But problem is uh, that the public space that we do have between the building is not well organized yet. There are like uh, uh, parking lots occupying uh, those areas that are not organized and there is as well lack of accessibility to, to services. Not all of these neighborhoods were completed. Uh, and technical quality and architectural quality uh, can differ as well, depends on the settlement. But they're basically very similar problems. Uh, next one. So we could see already some renovations. This is uh, Ursinov uh, district. Uh, what was uh, interesting, like uh, when thermomodernization was done, there was as well uh, implementation of improvement of greenery in the whole uh, neighborhood and you could see murals that are part uh, remaining the, the heritage of the district. Next one. So this is another housing estate. You could see different typology. Next one. And even denser uh, neighborhood uh, as well. And uh, uh, the other, uh, the, the right part of the river Vistula. This is Gotswaf uh, residential district. So those settlements, as you see on the map, are actually basically all over Warsaw. So just the challenges that we are facing to, to implement the vision are, well, uh, next to the what I was already mentioning, uh, that was not yet the gesture, but it's okay. Uh, uh, it's... Uh, Fragmentation of ownership, we discuss it uh, as well today, um, and estate management. So that is causing a lot of problems, it's, it's not always clear. So to implement uh, uh, certain programs, we have to have it into account. Now the, uh, the next one. So in the 
overall planning documents, so we are talking now about strategic level, not yet implementation, uh, we divided the actions that are not now divided into the types of uh, housing, but uh, focusing on quality. So, or is protection or development of uh, certain areas. So we identify them, we divided it even for like uh, more detail action plans uh, for the future. So you have protection of those uh, uh, areas uh, uh, that should not actually be developed further, uh, only the quality of uh, public space, quality of the, uh, the houses as well should be protected. Uh, but we do find uh, neighborhoods that were not completed. So for those, uh, we are thinking about uh, certain infills. Uh, next one, if we're talking about infills, of course, in uh, some neighborhoods it's possible to add uh, as well uh, housing, but mostly we were aiming to, to add uh, services that were not uh, developed there yet. And this uh, uh, has to be treated very individually, uh, terrain after terrain, to integrate it as well with uh, surrounding. Next one. Uh, so, our aim is to create polycentric city with very high quality of life. For that, all those settlements have to be equipped. I'm just making a parallel to the vision. So, we identify what kind of interventions area we do have. And we are hoping that as implementation plan, we will develop uh, next to the strategy that we are working on at the moment, a uh, detailed uh, action plan. So here you could see what is the final approach in the strategic document towards these areas. They are divided uh, dependence on the, their characteristics and we have description what type of uh, intervention we like to do in the future. Next one. Uh, so now uh, about uh, action plans that we have at the moment. So uh, Warsaw is one of the five Polish uh, cities that uh, is taking part of net zero emission environmentally sustainable territories program. And uh, for that, next slide, uh, we are implemented climate city contract. What is it? Is it sort of a roadmap for achieving climate neutrality by 2030? Uh, we have to plan it and finance it. So uh, there are three parts, uh, commitments, action plans and uh, investment plans. At the moment uh, we are on the stage of uh, community uh, involvement. Uh, and uh, we are planning to implement this um, contract in two districts, Praga, Południe and Ursynów. They are both uh, a modern estate, so large-scale uh, modern estates. So why actually this approach? This is, this is important to, to emphasize because, of course, we would like to be completely uh, neutral till 2030, the, the whole city. But only these settlements, we know that is impossible. It's impossible in very short time to, to achieve it. So we did the pilot project in the settlements that actually have very good uh, conditions to do it. They are very green. Uh, there are with the help of a few action plans like modernization uh, of existing buildings, like thermal modernization is, is one of the action plan, the rest has to be still defined it, or implementing a new building there, but using uh, the standard that we just uh, published a few weeks ago is green building standard that is actually uh, for municipality building at the moment. So in the beginning we are testing the standard on uh, the buildings that are financed by municipality and then we would like to encourage as well investor to use the same standard and now we are as well in the process of developing the same standard for existing buildings. Next one, uh, I just want to show 
why those neighborhoods uh, have this potential. They are very green. Uh, projects are already implemented of improvement of public space, social cohesion. It's a very important part. Uh, next one, I see the other neighborhood that uh, yeah, is a bit less green. However, uh, the potential is there. And uh, last one is just parallel to the beginning of the presentation. Because of the particular design uh, from 50s, 60s and 70s, uh, with a lot of greenery, now we do have potential to, to make city that uh, is really green, has potential to, uh, to implement uh, biodiversity on these areas. And uh, the challenge is to connect these neighborhoods with the network of green spaces. That is part of the overall strategy of the city. Thank you very much.